What a year it's been. Just surreal, straight out of a movie. As we speak, I'm right in the middle of preparations for 2021 and we have a lot of new stuff coming up. And next week, I'll uh, talk about that. But for now, one last time, let's have a look at this crazy year. Through our very own lens, actually, I give you a top 10 of our most viewed Brain Academy vlogs. Yes, so in number 10, schools, mindsets and parenting. After visiting several schools for my son, who is about to go to middle school, I was appalled by what I had witnessed in these various schools and decided to make an episode about it. It mainly talks about the importance of uh, mindsets based on Carol Dweck's work and how we should help our children work on that. Number nine. My challenge, 100 days without alcohol. Oh my gosh, it's true. <laughs> it's not even been a year. Now for the last several years, the day after my birthday, I started a period without alcohol. Sort of cleanse, you know. It started with one month. This year I tried 100 days. That's over three months. So I decided to talk about this in this vlog. Number eight, my TEDx talk. My TEDx talk experience as a speaker and host. Wow, just wow. That was before the pandemic. I can hardly remember how it felt like to be able to mingle with thousands of people, talk to live audiences without a mask, interact, what used to be in a normal way with people I had never met before. But above all, how great that was. Mm, I miss that. Anyway, in 2018, I gave a, a TEDx talk. And in 2019, I was the host, the MC Master of Ceremony of the next installment of that same TEDx. And I talked about that in this episode. Number seven. That was the very first episode of this brain vlog. Yes, this is only our first year. This is episode 45, but we started only like not even 11 months ago. It was my birthday and we had just moved and the office was still being done. Huh. Actually, with the whole pandemic, neither my office or recording studio are finished. I'm still trying to finish that. We had water infiltration and had major issues with our contractor. Anyway, that first episode was really well liked. It ends up in the seventh spot on our list. Number six, dopamine detox. That was one of our best episodes. It's a pretty recent one. I published it in October and it's still one of our fastest growing videos today. In number of views, that is. If I had published this one earlier in the year, it would probably have finished in the second spot. Anyway, dopamine detox. Should you do it? It explains what the hype is all about and what it really does to you. Spoiler alert. Long story short, yes, you should do it. But it won't affect your dopamine. For the full version, check out the episode. Number five. My 100 days without alcohol are over. Remember number nine on this list where I announced that I would do that 100 days without alcohol challenge? Well, this episode is at the end of the 100 days. And to my surprise, something really strange had happened. I didn't enjoy alcohol anymore. It tasted weird. So I talked about that in the video. Uh, I should probably make another update on that. It's been now over 300 days and I hardly drink alcohol anymore. I believe I drank something like five glasses of alcohol over these last 10 months. You know what? It's strange. I feel kind of liberated. It's hard to explain. Hmm. Yeah, I should definitely make a new video about that. Number four. The impact of screen time on your kids. This is the second entry about parenting in our top 10. I made this video right at the moment we released the update of our course Neuroscience for Parents. Since the update, well, that course has become our number one most followed program. And this video is touching one of the most difficult issues parents are facing screen time. And actually, I should make an update about this one as well. You see, my wife and I, we've always been very strict when it comes to screen time. Everyone around us was telling us we were overdoing it. Well, turns out we should be even stricter. I recently discovered this book, La Fabrique du Crétin Digital. It's only available in French, unfortunately. I say unfortunately because it's really good and explains in details what's happening to our kids, to their brains when they have too much screen time. By the way, the, the title says it all. La Fabrique du Crétin Digital translates to something like the factory of digital idiots. Number three. Social distancing has consequences for our brain. There you have it. Why am I not surprised? In this year dominated by Corona, it's only logical the top three entry of our most viewed videos is about Corona. More specifically, the consequences of social distancing. Now, seriously, don't you feel it too? To me, it's the one thing I miss the most. I made this video back in April and had no idea what the rest of the year would be like. Well, we're in December and yes, we 
can adapt to all kinds of situations, sure, even this crazy pandemic. But what I still miss the most is not being able to spend quality time with our friends and loved ones. Back in April, this video was warning us about what was to come, what was then still in its early days. We are social beings, it's deeply rooted in us. And I miss you guys. Number two. The number two spot is another Corona video, our brain in times of Corona. This one was shot at the very beginning of the outbreak when people were rushing to buy all kinds of stuff in stores with a funny focus on toilet paper. That was back in March. Gee, I'm glad I didn't know back then it would still be a thing in December. I mean Corona, not the toilet paper buying frenzy. Before I reveal number one, here are some honorable mentions that didn't make our list. The differences between psychopath and sociopath. Jung and the Jungle Book, the Pygmalion effect. Number one. The top spot of this 2020 year of our brain vlog video is... Da -da -da -da. The seven best books about the brain. Well, that restores my faith in humanity. You see, we've been covering all types of topics this year. Sometimes it was related with what was happening in the news and sometimes it was about theories and studies. Sometimes I was really serious and sometimes I tried to make you laugh, to entertain you. And sometimes that backfired. Anyway, but in the end, the one video that you guys have been watching most this year, at least on this channel, is not one about drama or entertainment or some catchy trendy topic. No, it's good old solid paperback for doing your own research and study to further enhance your knowledge about how that wonder of evolution that we all have between our ears is functioning. Man, I'm so proud of you. So that's pretty much it. 2020 is almost over. Hmm. For us, this year will also be the year we won two awards. That only strengthens our resolve to make 2021 totally epic. I mean, you can't say, let's make 2021 better than 2020. It's pretty much a given, right? 2020 was memorable, but not for the good reasons. 2021 has to be epic. You can't just go for better. It has to be a defining year, some sort of rebirth, epic stuff. Anyway, what was your favorite brain vlog video this year? Leave in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. But if you want the real stuff, the epic stuff for 2021, go to brainacademy.com. Join our 300,000 students and start using your brain better. Brain out. Sharpen your mind.